This is a Baofeng amateur radio, and it's a cheap piece of crap. But sometimes that's just what I need. The Baofeng radios that I ordered cost $45 or $50 each, including shipping. I ordered them from a ham operator in Hawaii. I got uh, a yellow one and a blue one, and there are other colors. The price varied on the colors. These radios came with two antennas. The antennas you see here are for 440 uh, megahertz, and they have a different longer meter uh, antenna for two meters. Other radios seem to be shipping with one antenna that's dual band, so you'll, what you receive may vary. I got chargers for both radios, and each radio came with a, an earpiece and a microphone that you can get totally tangled uh, and then plug in and use. The version that I got may have a problem. QST Magazine, the magazine of ARRL, published an article that showed that the two meter section of this radio transmits spurious signals out of band and they consider the radio unusable on two meters. I have the 440 megahertz antenna screwed into the antenna and I use it on that band. Um, but the factory says that they have fixed that problem. I don't know whether that's true and I don't know of a way to tell which radios, if it is true, which radios are now operating in band on two meters. So, for $45, it's buyer beware, but as I said, they're a con it's a con I consider it a consumable radio. The uses that we put it to are to carry around in big box stores and stay in touch if we get separated, and they're very small, very light, very plastic, and eminently usable for that. They operate at a maximum of 2 watts, and they have a built-in flashlight on the top that serves no purpose, but people put LEDs on anything now. The radio is what we will be using when we go to Burning Man. We've used GMRS radios at 2 watts there for years, and this radio at 2 watts will work for us across the entire playa. We've tried other radios, and usually GMRS and FRS, and GMRS and FRS are totally swamped by 50,000 people at Burning Man, all of them trying to use the same 14 or 15 or 12 channels, however many there are. And you just can't get through because of everybody trying to transmit on the very same frequencies the whole time. Amateur radio works much better there. And at 2 watts, we aren't going to get too far off the playa and mess with anybody in the local area, even though we do use proper radio protocol with our ham radios. Because I consider the radios as consumable, I'm perfectly willing to put up with whatever defects they have. Uh, at 45 or $50, I would regret if I lost one but it's not a two or three or four hundred dollar Kenwood or ICOM or uh, Yezu loss. It's a Baofeng loss of a plastic radio. I think it will serve its purpose well. It's a substitute for GMRS radios that are roughly the same price and I expect it to last several years on the playa. Uh, radios don't last, nothing lasts too long out on the playa. But I expect it to last a few years and I'll have gotten my money's worth. So for its purpose and within its limits, I consider the Baofeng radios to be a good buy. But you have to accept them as plastic radios that do not have a long life expectancy.